So for today's experiment, we have a OLPC XO 1.5 uh, that's running the latest build, which is build H74 as of this recording. And you'll notice that uh, right here at the hinge, there are three raised dots. So that's one way to tell that this is an OLPC XO 1.5. Uh, we have a lemon, citrus fruit, anything sour should do. We have a box of nails. This is, uh, these are zinc nails. Uh, so galvanized zinc and these are copper uh, plated nails so we've got copper and zinc two different metals we have a um, audio plug uh, this is the 3.5 mm variety and this plugs into the microphone port so if you look to the side of the XO right there there is the microphone port the pink one so this plug goes in there and then it's got a simple wire it happens to be green which is nice and the two exposed ends right over there and over there. And we also have a box of Lego, but we'll get to that in a bit. All right, so on the XO, uh, what we'll do is we'll fire up the measure activity. This is the one that looks like a waveform. So let's start a new instance of measure. And what measure does is it creates a waveform like an oscilloscope and plugs into the microphone port over there and shows you all kinds of waves. Um, you can change the amplitude. You can plug in a sensor and you can do a whole bunch of things uh, within this activity. Um, up here in the menu bar you can see there is measure activity. Uh, that is essentially using the microphone port. You can also use the sensors which uh, allow you to look at resistance. So you could plug in something and check the resistance, the voltage, and you could invert the signal and so on. So let's go to voltage. So at this point what happens is you'll notice the built-in microphone has been turned off. Uh, the LED, LED is off and so that's not running. Um, there we go. Let's tilt this a little bit so we don't get the glare and next what I'm going to do is plug in the um, cable the plug with the cable in here and let's pull out two nails one copper and one zinc so here we have there's the zinc and there's the copper and um, I'm not going to look for positive negative at this point. We'll just slide in one nail into one end of the cable and the other nail into the other. Now the way this works is uh, these are two different metals and when you plug this into a solution that acts as an electrolyte, um, electrons will flow from one end to the other. And usually the zinc will act as the negative end and copper the positive. So what I'm going to do is, uh, here's a lemon, give it a good squeeze so get the juices going inside. It'll break all the pods. Um, quickly roll it and now what we'll do is plug in one of the nails. So there goes the zinc and now as we plug in the copper we should be able to see a change in the line there because there will be some voltage generated inside the lemon. There. So I as I barely poke the surface, you'll see the line actually move, and as the copper nail goes in, there, it dips. And at the bottom, if we were to go, um, there we go. It says 3350, so that's 0.33 volts, and it starts to climb steadily. Um, this is as the electrons start to flow from one end to the other, the number will start to go up. Uh, if I give the lemon a squeeze, um, the numbers might change a little bit because the juice starts to flow from one end. And we can leave this and this will steadily climb up. Um, depends on the acidity of the fruit. Uh, with some of the limes, I've seen this go all the way up to about 0.9 volts. Um, so there it is. There's a there's enough uh, acid in this lemon to act as an acid battery uh, and creates a minute amount of voltage. 
not enough to do much. I doubt if you would be able to light up a bulb with this. Maybe if we had two lemons in parallel or in series, we would be able to light up a LED or something like that. And then measure, of course, is able to measure the voltage here. Um, we could do invert, which then flips the scale and gives you positive as opposed to negative um, display on the screen. So there you have it, a lemon battery with two different metals and a voltage that is generated.